Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today I'm doing a tutorial on this eye look. I actually changed up the format a little bit. I'm not gonna do the full tutorial as far as the base, the skin, that kind of thing. I already have my brows on. I'm just focusing on the eyes and I'll do my lips and touch up things um, at the end. But I will of course leave all the products I do have on today down in the description box below. So if you are wondering, that will be there but if you like how this eye look turned out and you want to see how I achieved it keep watching I'm gonna do a cream base so I'm grabbing my Rimmel magnify eyes shadow stick this is the dual ended one one has a Kajal liner and the other one is the cream shadow stick and this is in the shade Queens of the bronzed age I'm just gonna put this all over the moving part of my lid you don't have to be so precise because we are going to blend this out with a brush, but just get a first layer on there. I'm going to work one eye at a time just before this dries, and I'm getting a pretty pointy brush here to kind of get those edges. I don't want to over blend. I just want to get the edges a little softer and blended out before we go in with the next shadow. I'm going to take what's left on the brush and kind of create more of an angle here at the end. So now I have the shape of the eye that I'm looking for and I'm going to go in with a fluffier brush that has no product and I'm just going to blend these top edges and just that side edge there. If I were to go in with this first before I use that pointier one, it might just blend away too much of that shadow. That's why I'm doing a two-step process. You can go ahead and repeat the other side. Now we have our base and everything's blended out. I'm gonna go in with my Lorac Pro Palette here. I'm gonna start with this shade Garnet right here. Using a flat brush, I'm going to pack that on halfway to the outer corner. I'm going to go in with a more defined brush and I'm grabbing this shade Pewter. I'm going to take that in the crease. I'm going all the way in. I'm going to grab this or actually I think I'm going to use the white shade here at the end it's matte I'm going to take that on the brow bone I think I want to brighten up the inner corner so I'm going to grab a more tapered brush I'm using champagne right here put that right in the inner corner a little bit I'm going to tight line using the NYX, what are these called? The slide on, glide on, stay on, and definitely turn on waterproof. That is too long of a name, but it is the shade Golden Bronze. Actually, let me sharpen this first. And so I'm just going to go in and tight line with that. I'm gonna use a brown liquid liner. This one's from Jessie's Girl. I'm not going to create a wing or anything. I just want to have a very fine line close to the lashes. I'm 
Now you can go ahead and curl your lashes and then we're going to do some mascara. For mascara, I'm using my Maybelline Lash Sensational. Before I do the bottom lashes, I'm going to go in with the shade Mauve right here. And I'm just going to take that under lash line here just so it almost creates a shadow but I don't want a whole lot of color I don't want to close my eyes off with this look where you can go ahead and do the bottom lashes I do want to add a tad bit more blush, so I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild color icon. This is Mellow Wine, and I'm going to grab my brush here. I'm going to keep things pretty light for the lips. I'm grabbing my Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Buttercream Gloss. This is in Must Have Pink. And I'm going to do a topper for my lip gloss. This is the Rimmel Oh My Gloss um, lip gloss, and it's in the shade My Eternity. I'm going to do that right on the center. I don't like this gloss as a whole because it's a little too um, iridescent, but as a topper, it looks great. I do already have a cream highlighter. I used MAC um, Cream Color Base in the shade Shell. I used that right here just around the eye and I took it a little bit on the brow when I did my foundation. But if you wanted a little extra pop, you can go in with a powder highlight. So I might do that. I'm gonna use the Physician's Formula. This is the Natural Nude one. And let me grab my highlighter brush. And I'm just going to take it more on the lighter parts of this and swirl them around. Just slightly. I'm going to put that right over top of shell. And that's our completed look. It is nothing intense, but I love these shades together. It kind of has a copper purpley tone to it that I think is very complementary to blue eyes, green, I mean really any shade of eyes, any skin tones. I think this is a really nice everyday and then you could amp it up in the outer corner with a deeper maybe matte brown or black and you know smoke it out underneath that lash line for a nighttime look, put a bold plum colored lip and it would be appropriate for nighttime, but keeping this pretty daytime appropriate. And I like this look a lot. I hope you did as well. And don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up if you did like it. And if you haven't subscribed, you know where that button lives. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!